Most people in America presume that their life is private enough that some child who's walking through a community at night does not have the right to enter their home, enter their property, enter their office, enter their duffel bags, enter their backpack, and look over or interfere with or touch a computer that does not belong to them. And yet we have young children in their 20s, and I call them children because it is still their immoral behavior that does this. And we have gentlemen in their 30s and 40s with the law enforcement networks that think they have the right to do this. The liars of America are still liars of America. They impede our rights because they want to. They pick and choose whose rights are okay and whose rights are not, and that fundamentally is discrimination and censorship. At no time does any total stranger or even anyone related to you have the right to touch your computer, take your thumb drives, interfere with your T drives, or literally ruin your intellectual property or copywritten word. And yet we have people that do this every day. We have ill-willed, immoral young people working in our retail establishments and old bitch bat ugly people that do the same. I can be as opinionated as I want to in as America. I'm not saying anything that other people haven't experienced. And the truth is that cybercrime and identity theft is still on the rise. It is one of the leading problems in America. We have simply started to talk about it through the discussion of affordable Wi-Fi. But affordable Wi-Fi doesn't mean you have the right to impede another life in America.